Texas and was part of a super cool story. I don't know. I don't know. No, because no, because he mentioned it popped on his radar and people and he said people were saying hyping it up. So I'm like, if people are like the only people that were hyping this up were people like me. So I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm getting red flags. Right. I'm getting a vibe. Right. I'm getting a vibe. That's much further. Filling life. Or it could just be a thin veil to drape over copious amounts of kinky degenerate smut. <laughs> there it is, Ellie. Yes. There it is. This is what it's wasn't. just porn. <laughs> Whoops! It's just fan service. Ha ha ha! <laughs> There's nah. nothing else here, Ellie. Me. But any of the themes and subtext that I was hoping for were few and far in between. Maho Shoujo wanted. To- yeah, he's just mad. He's just mad. It's not what he wanted. <laughs> he's just mad. It's not his fan fiction. You know, that's all it is. He's just mad that the thing is not the thing that he wanted it to be. And instead of just moving the fuck on, right? De- either dealing with it and getting the de- experiencing the thing for what it is, right? Like actually engaging with the media for what it is instead of what it's not. He's decided, nah, man. I got to make an entire 17 minute video about how itchy I got burned by the itchy. <laughs> I have to get revenge, Ellie. Yeah. And he literally responded to that with, I'm a pure and innocent soul. I knew GOMG would be sus, but I didn't expect it to be that sus. What a cunt. What a fucking cunt. Of course, talking about my whole shoujo ni. Here we go. Right, let's, let's. or gushing over magical girls. Hey, use the right one. <laughs> use the right he, one. It okay. is the official title. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. I don't know how the show came under my radar, but I heard it's going to be one of those hot new releases, and everyone's going. How would you not know? <laughs> how would you not know, dude? Anyone that was talking about this was going to be talking about it. I was talking about it being like, this is going to be like, this is going to trigger Twitter. This is going to make everyone no, so Larissa, mad. I remember, I remember, so itchy. I remember your first set was, oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be so censored. It's worthless. To, well, to yeah, wait, yeah. Wait I, I was worried about that. Yeah, I, that was what I was worried about. I was talking about how... You know, I was worried that, oh, no, there's no way they could adapt this, right? There's no way in today's climate. And I have been pleasantly (laughs) proven wrong. I have been absolutely pleasantly proven wrong completely by that, right? So the fact that this guy is like, oh, no, this just, I actually don't, I think he's lying. I'm going to be, I'm going to be like real bad faith here, right? I do not think that he could have seen discussions about this show or have this show pop on his radar and not know about the content. I think it's fucking impossible, right? So either he's being disingenuous, right? Or he's stupid. No, 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 <laughs> right? too. I do, yeah, he, no, he, like, he, like, like Jake says, right? He just, he just read the synopsis and was part of a super cool story. I don't know, I don't know. No, because no, because he mentioned it popped on his radar, and people, and he said people were saying hyping it up. So I'm like, if people are like the only people that were hyping this up were people like me. So I can't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm getting red flags. Right. I'm getting a vibe. Right. I'm getting a vibe. Let's watch further. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Let's watch. Let's continue. I'll be looking for read the synopsis, and I was optimistic about it. Here's. (laughs) He read the the synopsis. Right. Right. Okay. Here's the premise. Hiragi Uten is a typical, shy, middle school outcast who doesn't have any friends. The only joy she does seem to have is her- Well... It's not like she doesn't have... She kind of doesn't have friends. Like, they do interact with her, I guess. Like, it was shown, like, in the first episode that the pink-haired one, like, does interact well, with her a little bit. Well, it's kind of the she... first time she does, kind of. She's she's kind of like background charactery kind of uh, I don't know I uh, no nah, I, I think I'm being a bit too trigger happy I need to <laughs> I need to calm down I need to get ready it's because I know I, I'm I, I can feel it coming Ellie I can feel it I can feel it I'm getting I'm getting tilted let's let's mm-hmm. let's go 
a passion for magic who exists in this world. But in this world, the magical girls are like superheroes, who are known to the public. Think like Sailor Moon, but as a Marvel's Avenger. They have action figures of them, merch, photo shoots, all that good stuff. Utena idolizes these magical girls, and one day, a magical mascot creature shows up and offers her the power to be a magical girl too. Which sounds like a dream come true, but turns out she was given the power to be a villainess and is forced to fight against the magical girl she idolizes. Think of it like you thought you were going to be a Power Ranger, but instead you got the role of Rita Repulsa. And I'll be honest, I love the premise. Because they're so- <laughs> This guy actually didn't know. Are you fucking for real? He read the synopsis. <laughs> he read the synopsis and he didn't he didn't look into it any any like <laughs> at all. He didn't do any other research into the show. I'm flabbergasted right now. <laughs> this is fucking great. <laughs> so let's see, uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fucking believe it before. That's why I was accusing him of being dishonest, because I literally <laughs> couldn't fucking believe it. But now I'm starting to believe. I'm actually starting to believe, Ali, that he Naretsu, didn't know. He, 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 he prints out the synopsis on his printer, and he takes it on a stack of paper. He puts it on his, I, his, I, I, his I, I, desk I, 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 next to his recliner chair. He, 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 he takes it on his recliner chair and picks up the synopsis and reads it through. Then he reads only... the first paragraph, apparently, because apparently he didn't read the next. Time. And then he, he picks up his pipe, and he reads it, and then puts it out and ponders what it could be. He didn't, he mm. didn't, watch, any, he didn't watch any of the trailers. He didn't look and at the And then he drinks the, a little bit the, of the, the scotch, show. and then picks up a cigar, and smokes a cigar, and contemplates <laughs> the story, how it could be. He, li he literally didn't know. I'm fucking... Okay, and then he okay. goes to, so to much... Sunday school, oh, and then... Because they're so... Uh, well, no. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't... I, 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 I can't... I'm fascinated to know more about yeah, this Yeah, go story. ahead. I wanna... Let's go. So much you can do with it, and so much subtext to get out of this premise alone. The fact that Utene is given the role of a villain could be metaphoric of how social outcasts are often seen as villains by their peer. <laughs> That's you. He had expectations. Oh, this this poor innocent child. This poor man. <laughs> Poor Matt, look, look, you want to know how I knew this show, this, this series, when I found the manga for this? It's got the sexual violence tag, Ellie. Oh, It has sexual favorites. violence tag, right? On, on, I think it does on, on Dex. I'll go out, I'll check. I'll fact check myself, right? Like, I'm browsing, I'm browsing, and I'm looking, looking for stuff that's, that's up my alley, right? And then, you know, I have all the lewd tags going, right? And I'm like, damn! Look, this, this, this gushing over magical girls, right? It's got, it's got that, it's got, it's got that, that tag on it. That might be it. Yeah, it's got erotica. It's got the erotica tag, and the sexual violence tag. And I'm like, okay, I've got a good. All right, that that's gonna happen in it at some point, right? Don't know anything else yet, but that's gonna happen. And then I start reading it, and I'm like, yep. Here we go. This is this is gonna be good. All right. Yeah, so you owe good. somebody a kiwi beer. Yeah, I know. Apparently, yeah, I know. I mentioned I was mentioning that while you were ratting off on your little. Oh, sorry. <laughs> your, was your little your little thing. Self uh, but like, yeah. So so, like, I cannot. Like, this is why I'm having such a bad time, like believing that he didn't know, right? Because it's like. Yeah, like, okay, maybe on Mal it doesn't have a sexual violence tag. High impact sexual violence, yeah, 6 5, yeah. Like, on, on, on fucking, you know, Mal, maybe it doesn't have, like, a tag for that or whatever. But, like, if you look up the manga, it does. If you look up, if you look up anything about the show, it does, right? So maybe this is just, like, a problem we need to solve, right? We need, like, a rating system or something. So that when the Sarah's, advertising Sarah for these Z. shows happen, yeah, uh, yeah, zero Z or something. We need to like educate people on how to fucking like actually find shit, right? Because, because <laughs> come on, man, come on, <laughs> you fucking, 
All right, all right, all right. Enough, enough fat chicken. Let's get While the pups, or in this case, the magical girls, get admiration, friends, and status. In the first episode, Utena doesn't even want to battle, but the magical girls are so used to fighting villains, they just see her pleading as deception. Again, all great concepts to explore social stigma where it's okay to beat up bad guys because, well, they're bad guys. The story could have also been a hero's journey for Utena, as the power... Man, he's he's. This is some fan fiction shit. Yeah. This guy, this guy came up with a whole other series in his head. <laughs> no wonder he was disappointed. You know, <laughs> he's coming up with this whole other fucking show in his head, and then he's gonna get met with, nah, it's about fucking BDSM. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh. As the power and role of a villainess could allow her to gain more confidence and even start to see the flaws and weaknesses in the hero she idolizes, learning to- You know what the, fun the funny thing about this is? It kind of is a hero's journey. Yeah, I mean, he, he rushed through the <laughs> He stats. even had it on the screen. He even had it on the screen. Like, he kind of is. <laughs> All right. Let's to go. appreciate and value herself more than idolizing someone else. Maybe she learns to accept herself for who she is, which allows her to make more friends and have a more fulfilling life. Or it could just be a thin veil to drape over copious amounts of kinky, degenerate smut. <laughs> there it is, Ellie! It is. There it is! This is what it's wasn't. just porn. <laughs> Whoops, it's just fan service! Ha ha ha! There's nah, nothing else here, Ellie. I believe I mentioned last week when I was talking about this show that I very much appreciate the show that talk, talks about sexual awakening. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that and that's a lot of what the first half of the show is. is it is about characters having these sexual awakenings and coming to find them, right? And, I mean, we can talk about it when we talk about you know, if if we get around to talking about anime, yeah, yeah, yeah. we might not today. We might have to wait till next week to talk about anime because this has gone on so long, right? But yeah, like also, big Mister Big in the chat, right? Why can't it be both? Yeah, why can't it be both? Right? It's not a thinly veiled thing because oh, the author just for the fun fact. Actually, an interesting thing I believe, like the author, right? The only, the only other work they did before this, I think, was just a normal thing about tea. Yeah. It was like some it was like a manga. I'll go find it actually, because I can probably find it pretty easily if I go and have a look. Um yeah, here we go. So that's the that's the author. And then I just go to author. Uh yeah, here we go. Um Kumino's sense of taste. Aliens have become common on Earth. Uh Kumala Kumakla or something I can't pronounce that um, is one such alien who can get nutrition by just by breathing and therefore does not need to eat but from unexpected circumstances she takes a bite of earth food and has her first experience of delicious earth, uh, earth food um, the uptight uh, character discovers new tastes through eating and awakens to new kinds of emotions. Romance, comedy, slice of life, aliens, cooking. No erotica, no sexual violence tag. <laughs> so, yeah. That sounds like the totally the, the kind of thing that the person that wrote looking at Yoshino from Magical Girls. <laughs> like, they didn't have, like, a history is what I'm saying. Like, there wasn't a history of, oh, the yeah. author, like, makes 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 like itchy or whatever so obviously there's it like they're, they're doing it just like it's like there's not this i don't think it's this feeling of um oh they just wanted to make itchy so they put itchy in if you want me to do a bit of psychoanalysis right based on i haven't read the other work right but based on the synopsis it seems to be it's about feelings right oh the feeling of eating this alien that's never experienced eating before and doesn't actually have to eat to survive, right? Experiences eating and it causes emotions, right? In in this in this character. And and the whole work, I assume, is going to be about going through those different emotions for via food as a conduit, right? What's gushing over magical girls about? You know, oh, it's a sexual awakenings and feelings and, and, and uh, having the conflicting looking up to the magical girls, but also wanting to see them, you know, in sexual situations and, and, you know, dominating them and embarrassing them and doing all these things because she's a sadist. Right. And having to work through these, these contradictory emotions. Right. Um, very emotional based. Right. 
So could it be that they wanted to do what they did with food, but with sexual content and sadism and masochism? Or maybe it's just porn, Ali. Maybe it's just porn. Maybe. I, I actually think it's, it's a... Well, it's of course a, 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 a more moe way of looking at a sexual awakening because uh, mm. I can imagine it can be called, become a sort of a self-traumatizing thing at times where, especially for Mr. Mr. Christian over here, <laughs> a furry Christian, uh, it might be, of course, a great conflict of what what you are into and what you are not allowed to be into. Uh, Utana is more, you know, shy in a general societal uh, sex bed uh, kind of way. That's, of course, kind of true in any modern developed uh, uh, nation. But hey, yeah. she's a super villain. She doesn't have to conform to those morals. She is. She, is... <gasps> she gets to be. She gets to be. Well, I can't be Ellie. She gets to be. Gets to be all sexual and and and, and yes. pro pro sexy. Oh, great. Yeah. Um. So anyway, um, going to the chat, right? Um. If people didn't care about the plot and characters and itchy, uh, wouldn't they just buy art books? Yeah. That's the common thing, right? It's like, oh, why don't you just watch porn? Why don't you just you know? Blah, 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 such a week. Why does this have to exist? Yeah. It's such a such a. Yeah, I know you're not making that argument, Moe Stream, but like, yeah, it's it, that's the the argument that gets tossed around a lot, right? Where it's like, oh, why, do, why, you know, it's clear that there's a difference, and it's clear that there is something there that people are latching onto and do like about these types of shows, right? Um, which makes them like better than just you know going on Pornhub and watching two people fuck, right? You know, um, even there, you know, there's like, some narrative in in the sequence of events, so. Yeah, yeah. Just, just um, nudity it, and just sex isn't enough to be arousing. There also ha yeah. always has to be some context, some narrative behind it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he, maybe he needs to brow browse, browse. Tabs. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. maybe he does. Or so maybe he does. But like, so, so what I'm to get back to the video, right? What I'm gathering here is he has completely disappointed himself because he's come up with all of the he's come up with what is basically fan fiction right his own fan fiction mm -hmm. about what he wanted the show to be without one stopping to maybe do a little bit of research because if he read he should have seen that it would have an itchy tag right like come on like you, you fucking could have just looked into it like slightly more intently than just reading the synopsis right could have just could have just like looked into it slightly more right um, he, so he's come up with all of this fan fiction, and now he's so disappointed with the fact that his fan fiction isn't what the show actually is, and that the show is, you know, actually about something completely different. And now he's conflating that with, oh, the show doesn't care; it just exists because it wants to do porn, basically. So, right? It's not. Uh... There can't be. There can't be anything else about it. It's literally. It's not that it's. It's just something different from what he was expecting. No, 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 no. It it has to be. Oh, it only exists to convey lewd scenes. That's all it is. That's all, that's the only reason it's there. So Jake is touching something that I was well, well wanted to comment on. That uh, the I think this is also kind of a partly uh, because of his misunderstanding. I would say of what Etchy is. That he saw maybe the main character dressed very per, per, uh, uh, scandalously, provocatively, yeah, very in a very scandalous outfit, and he thought the edgy tag, if he saw something like that, was applied... just oh, she's in a sexy outfit. Yes, yeah. not but it... actual, you know, the riskiness. So, so, so quite frankly, it's his own fucking fault. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I that's should. my take. You know, it's his own fault for not doing actual like. And also, having, I thing. think just confusing the tag etchy for himself didn't help, right? Yeah. If if yeah. he just says that etchy is showing skin, that's not enough to be an etchy on its own, right? I I I myself laid out three categories of risqueness, of you know. Uh, uh, how how 
how large is the sexual tension, how much skin is showing, uh, yeah, how much nudity there is, and how much you know con edgy conventions. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get uh, Come on, seriously? Yeah, it's such a good premise here. Why did you have to go and make it anime again? Re <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 really no, no, liberal no, no, with no, no. that etchy tag here, guys. You sure you don't want that nice H tag and just be done with it? There I felt no so dirty tag. watching. There is. The, 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 if it was H, then it, uh, okay. dirty watching this. I had to go rewatch Spy Family to recharge my wholesomeness levels. And often I can try to look past this exploitation if the story is good enough. Exploitation. <laughs> exploitation. What exploitation? What's being exploited? What the fuck do you mean, exploitation? This is all original video, Naretsu. You can tell. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, I can see why he got cooked for this, right? <laughs> I can see why he got fucking cooked for this. Because, holy shit, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what exploitation? What do you mean? <laughs> Who's getting exploited? Did you get exploited? Do you feel exploited because you are a dumbass? Is that is that what it is? Is everybody like who likes who likes the show is being exploited for their we're base all, instincts? We're all, we're, we're all being exploited. Yeah, yeah. Or is it the yeah, characters' totally. fictional rights being exploited? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't fucking know. It's the same way I do with like say Overlord, but I don't think I can do it with the show because it just seems to be powered by sex exploitation alone. Sex exploitation. Oh, I forgot it's to use that word. Sex exploitation, Ellie. I forgot to what? use that. I fucking, I watched an itchy show, and the itchy show has sex in it. I am so offended. <laughs> How could this have happened, Ali? I don't How know. Could this, this guy's absolutely a dumbass. I'm sorry. I, I can't, I can't believe that he didn't, I still, I'm still trying to get over the fact that he didn't know. Like, the fact that he genuinely didn't know and went into this, and now he's mad that the show is what it is right he's just mad that the shark tank is filled with sharks it's just filled with fucking sharks ellie that it's time to ban right into it it's bad time to ban the prosti prostitution in interspecies reviewers let's start really? over yeah. let's start over yeah. there yeah 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 Fuck, mate. And the more I watched it, the more I was getting annoyed because I could see glimpses of the character development and subtext I was hoping for. But maybe because it is there, but it's happening slowly. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. At this time, there is character to. At this time, there was things. only like at this time there was only like three episodes, so I don't know what character development he wanted to happen in three episodes. Yeah, what what, what was going to happen? Like, and and the character development is happening. It's she's get, becoming more comfortable with the the lewd aspect of it. No, 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 so that's that's wrong. It has to be wholesome. Yeah, no, 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 it has to be wholesome. Yeah, no, no, she can't she can't like come to terms with her kinks and and understand like. That her role in the in the in the dynamic of of vil, villain and villainess, right? You know, villain versus heroes, right? She can't she can't um come to terms with the fact that she's actually into this, and she has to keep denying it. You know, like oh god, oh god, it's so mm, it's so bad, Ellie. Oh, I can't, <laughs> can't. Oh, oh fuck, mate. Oh fuck me. Oh, I hate these people so much, Ellie. No, you loved him. Oh. He did a good free run Rings of Power or Lord of the Rings thing. You love him, remember. Oh. Well, no, I, will, I mean, I only watched that one video. <laughs> I'm not a fan. <laughs> it's not like I'm a fan or anything, but it's like, it's like, you know, he believes watching a uh, subtext per episode instead of studying the subjects from the whole work available. Nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the, the only thing that exists, Ali, is anime is, ex yeah the only thing that exists is the free episode it's not like there's an entire like fuck how many chapters is the manga well, out it's now? like I to bring up the manga, 15 like, fucking... 13 volumes i believe oh uh, where is it yeah it's like uh yeah we're on volume 10 chapter 57 oh i was wrong i, I look at some so covers. so we're pretty like it's been around for like five years. I mean, <laughs> like you know, it's like 
first upload was five years ago. I mean, it started in 2019. Um, <laughs> publication started in 2019, so it's fucking, mm, you know. <laughs> you know, and you see, this would all have been solved, right? Ellie, what would have solved this problem for him? If it was wholesome instead. No, if he had just done a little bit oh, of research. Also. If he had just if he had just gone, hey, that sounds interesting. I wonder what the manga's about. I'm gonna go look up the Wikipedia page. I'm gonna look up a synopsis on you know, I'm gonna look a little more into Oh, I wonder what's on the author's Twitter. Oh, I I'm gonna look into this thing for like more than like two minutes, you know, instead of being a lazy fuck, right? Maybe he would have not had this problem. Because I think what's happening now is he's mad that he got blindsided and now he's just, you know, coping. He's literally coping, <laughs> right? He's literally coping. He's coping with the fact that the the anime blindsided him and now he has to get revenge against the anime for blindsiding him, right? That's what I'm thinking right now. That's a, that, that uh, uh, that's what I feel. That's I'm, I'm, you, you can tell how mad I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, getting I'm getting progressively more the, mad the, as this the, the, on. The, the, I was very when you said it was 50 or uh, 70 minutes I was relieved instead of dreading because even <laughs> though it was this is a long episode and I'm getting a little bit tired I know that he would it's worth it it's he, worth he, it. He, would, he didn't cut anything he just added more fluff this is right, this is the let's... goals that I saved for you I'm uh, thank you, Ellie. Thank yeah. you for d d delivering this to me, right? What am I gonna get mad about now? Then, nope, more kinky stuff. I checked out the manga too, and the he actually checked it out too. Afterwards, I guess. Ow! Are you serious? Okay, let me listen to this. I got smutty elements were a lot more toned down compared oh. to the. Anime. Well, okay, this I will kind of half agree with. Right, the anime has actually made it more edgy, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> the anime has actually made it more lewd, especially like if you recall, like the first episode with the spanking. Yeah, right? I believe you, you, don't you, know, you showed a panel that it's yeah. I showed. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, TV I'd have to go find that uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, I would have to go find that right, but. Um, in saying that, I mean, some of the later stuff, like the most recent episode that we were probably going to talk about later, like that is pretty one to one. That that is pretty All right. much how it went down. So I wouldn't, I would say that in some respects it's been toned up, but in, in I would say it's on par, if not slightly toned up, depending on the scene. Right? That's what I'm. My stance on it would be. Uh, so I, so I want I want him to explain to me how this is a bad fight. Enemy. But any of the themes and subtext that I was hoping for were few and far in between. Maho Shoujo wanted to- Yeah, he's just mad. He's just mad. It's not what he wanted. <laughs> he's just mad. It's not his fan fiction. You know, that's all it is. He's just mad that the thing is not the thing that he wanted it to be. And instead of just moving the fuck on, right? De either dealing with it and getting the d experiencing the thing for what it is, right? like actually engaging with the media for what it is instead of what it's not, he's decided, nah, man, I got to make an entire 17-minute video about how itchy I got burned by the itchy. Yeah. I have to get revenge, Ellie. You avoid at all costs. It ruins yeah. anime. It ruins anime. Yeah. Tell a different story than what I was hoping for, but it doesn't mean they told it well. Like I mentioned about Mushoku Tensei, this anime doesn't mean yeah yeah the free episodes yeah they haven't told it well yet yeah Ooh. yeah 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 fucking Christ. this anime is far too direct in the topic it wants again it's far too direct Alan. no it ha all has to be subtones it has to be hush hush can't can't <laughs> can't show any sexual stuff no 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 Even how can emotional... i how can i recommend this to my christian book club if i can't if it's so direct about it, Ellie, I can't do it. Just do it. Just do it. Fuck it. Fuck, fuck the Christian book club. You know, yeah. Corrupt so, uh, them from the he's, getting, he's getting deja vu from, you know, anime only discussion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm so mad I got potatoes when I fought, <laughs> when I fought of fries when viewing the menu. 
How dare they give me baked potato wedges instead of chips? How dare they do that? Oh, I'm so mad. I am mad. I'm tilted. I'm, I'm very <laughs> tilted right now. I'm very angry because this shit pisses me off. I hate it when people do this shit. It's so annoying. Oh my god. To explore. If they want to explore BDSM relationships in the setting of Magical Girls, it can do that without actually showing this much BDSM. And <laughs> just, just make a show <laughs> about BDSM. And not show any BDSM, Ellie. Did you know Spider Man is an allegory for BDSM? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Spider Man. He uses his webs to tie up the criminals. It's an allegory for BDSM. <laughs> oh my fucking Christ. <laughs> You, you can't, you can not oh, deny it. Oh my it god, is a possibility. I can't fucking deal with this shit. <laughs> oh, I can't fucking deal with this shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh, how can these people be real? Oh, okay, okay. And such an uncomfortable amount of detail as well. It would require... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah uncomfortable. Um, you know, you, can, you know, Naro Takoro... The, the BDSM manga with the guy who looks like a frog and the hot girl and then she gets tied up and the whole story is about how she is relaxed by being tied up and, oh, and they yeah, have that's... they have and they have a relationship and the whole manga is about their relationship and there's tons of BDSM in it and that's not allowed can't have that we and... can't have a manga talk about BDSM and also show the BDSM. It has to be an allegory. It has to be all subtone bullshit. Has to be hush hush. No, no fun allowed. Spooderman, right? There you go. That's the video. That's this video. I've summed up the whole video. I a bit more creativity and subtlety, which sadly are not the show's strongest qualities. The hero. <laughs> okay, I have to try and calm down so I can actually make like cohesive fucking points, right? Because I'm just I'm just fucking ranting, right? Like, what the fuck do you mean? There's no creativity. What the fuck do you? Do, are you gonna tell me? Etchy that, isn't creative, Naretsu. Yeah, Etchy isn't creative. You can't do creative things. She. She fucking turned a light bulb into like a thing to capture that one girl and like do electrocution shit with it. Like that's fucking creative because she like hits the things and it turns them into sexual things, related versions of those things, right? There's some creativity there. What the fuck are you talking about? There's no create. There's only no creativity because you're a prudish piece of shit. That's why there's no fucking creativity. Brain turns off you. when skin is shown. Yeah, brain turn off when see titty. There you go. You fucking... Oh, I hate... The villain dynamic, especially in superhero stories, can often be interpreted as an allegory for relationships. I'm Every, everything is an allegory. <laughs> Only allegories. Life is an allegory. Only allegories allowed. <laughs> no... <laughs> God. Anime I'm only, allegory only. Here. I didn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a nemesis until my late twenties. Don't patronize me, father. It's unbecoming. It's true. I wasn't ready for one. You want your first nemesis to be special, someone who you could see being your nemesis for the rest of your life. So, if the show <laughs> again, but this isn't that isn't the, the and uh, you know what the really funny fucking thing about this is, right? And I don't want to like spoil anything, right? But that kind of like nemesis relationship the lover thing marriage. that actually starts happening with the blue haired chick of course right? it's already happened in episode two it, it, yeah, well yeah but i'm just like they because because you know i know how you like the whole section with awakening spot on that so i don't want to like mm. spoil the next episode if they do do that part is going to be really good for that because it's almost like it solidifies the relationship dynamic between those two. And I think it's such, it also like really helps to characterize where the main character is going, where Utena, I believe is how you pronounce it, is going with this. Because, and there's like, there's two moments in the series in particular that really highlight that. And that's one of them. So the problem he's facing right now is he just had like, what he is describing is actually going to somewhat happen 
right? That's actually a dynamic that's going to form. But there are sex He's and there just, are two. But there's six, but there's six. But, but oh no, oh no, there's BDSM. You can't have that in BDSM relationships. It's not like BDSM relationships are literally fucking formulated on that very concept of power dynamics. It's not like that, it's not, fuck me. Gotham, Gotham, Gotham is an allegory for the bedroom and Bruce and Joker are sex freaks. <laughs> allegories, my man. Allegories all the way. It's all allegories. It's all allegories, man. If it wanted to imply a dominant submissive relationship, it could have done that in less overt ways, letting the audience. <laughs> why? Why does it have to do it in less overt? The, so her facial expression is mine right now. I'm fucking. I'm like. I'm in. I'm in fucking full rage mode, right? What do? You, what the fuck do you mean? Like how? How? Right? Again, I'm. I, how do you do? We have to do the power dynamic stuff from BDSM, but we're not going to do the BDSM. Um, like, I, and, I, and, and this isn't even like the first thing that there's a, like, oh, what's the movie called? Fuck, I can't remember the movie, but there is a movie that's all about like BDS, a BDSM relationship, but I come. Something like, like wasn't, it, wasn't the. She, she's, it's like the secretary the or gray something. Gray, whatever. Like, something like that. I think you know the one I'm talking about, maybe, yeah. but it was, it was like a famous one, right? And I've seen like some of it, but I haven't seen like the whole thing because I was—I think I was probably like too young, and I like—I've seen like bits and pieces of it, right? Um, but there's like a whole movie about that, right? And, I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey is an obvious example. I'm talking about more like, like in in, in like movies, right? Like I—I I, I mean, it has a movie, though, a movie but though. it does have a movie. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I've completely forgotten that from my mind. But that's not the movie I'm talking about. Right. That's not the movie I'm talking about. I'm talking about I'm talking about a different movie, right? Which is a bit more explicit than. Um, I think 50, 50 Shades was, at least in the theatrical version, right? I haven't actually read or watched 50 Shades because I, I, <laughs> I haven't read or watched it because I had a friend of mine in high school who was um, an avid book reader who read it and, and like, because I was somewhat interested because of the content and she literally just like was like, nah, it's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so I never got into it because I trusted her recommendation and I'm glad I did because apparently it is shit. So, um, um, but getting back on track, right? It's like Fifty Shades can't exist. This one movie that I'm blanking on the name of can't exist. Um, you, you could never directly show the thing. It has to be all an allegory. It, it, you're not allowed to depict actual BDSM in media. It has to always be hidden, hush hush in the closet, sexuality bad, right? Star Trek that's, isn't that's, as an allegory for BDSM when Han Solo um, is frozen in that carbon night. Oh, Star Star Wars, yeah, Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, Star uh, Wars. This is Star Trek. Well, Star uh, well, Wars. I mean, you'll you'll be happy to know that I finished um, all three seasons of 60s Star Trek, and now I'm watching hey. Next Generation. Um, and the first, the first, uh, of the Far Point stuff. I watched that yesterday, and that was pretty good. I'm I'm, I'm eager to continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really even though I. Uh, to go to, uh, into your tangent, I never actually watched Star Trek as as a you know episode by episode. It was on TV a lot, and I caught a lot of episodes, but I never yeah 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 never sat down and like watched the whole thing. Yeah, right? I did watch. I mean, I, I mean, there is there is like seven seasons of Next Generation. Yeah, so I did watch. A, I did do that for Stargate, which I enjoyed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but anyhow, um. I just want to kind of toss that in because because yes. yeah, Star Trek. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a tangent, but it might calm me down a little bit. The final episode of the '60s Star Trek is like the funniest anti-feminist thing I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> so let me give you the rundown, right, very quickly. So there's this chick who is like Kirk's ex-lover, and they find her on like a planet, and she's like sick, right, mm -hmm. and she through some hocus pocus space magicosis switches bodies with kirk because she's super pissed that she's a woman and she couldn't become a starfleet captain or something because she's a woman yes and it's like she is like the very embodiment of jaded feminist that's pissed that she's a woman right 
and the the, sh- the episode kind of progresses with like oh kirk is like acting strange and not acting like kirk and there's this suspicion that they've swapped bodies but they have to like prove it and stuff and in the meantime the woman is acting really erratically and you know wanting to like execute kirk, you know the, the you know the, the the traitors right and and doing all this stuff and there's mutiny going on because they suspect that it's not actually kirk right and then they managed to like switch the bodies back, right? Through some, you know, Mag- space, space magic, 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 magic bullshit, right? And the the woman is just like getting all like, oh no, I was gonna be the big Starfleet captain. No, I wanted to be the. No, why was I born a woman? Ah. And the episode like ends with the message of like, you know, if she'd only just been happy to be a woman. <laughs> She probably would have been fine <laughs> and happier yeah. as a person if she'd just been happy with her lot in life. <laughs> and it's so weird. It's so fucking weird because, like, Star Trek is pretty, like, I mean, like, you have female, like, the communications officer, right? You're like, uh-huh. a, a hero is like a fucking, you know, she's a woman, she's in a high rank, right? So it's never like showing like that there's sexism in Starfleet, right? It's never showing like there is any actual prejudice, right? It's just this one crazy chick that thinks that everything is wrong because she's a woman when it's not, right? And she's just always hated being a woman. And the fact that you can relate that so closely to modern feminism is the funniest thing to me. (laughs) It's fucking great. Um. So, so, and I guess, I guess that's an allegory, right? It's an allegory for modern feminism <laughs> because she hates being a woman. <laughs> oh, it was great. But anyway, yeah. So, so that, yeah, I don't have to talk about Star Trek now because I've just done it. <laughs> I can feel Ali getting tired because he's not talking and interrupting mm. me on my tangents as much. He's just letting me go. The, the, I've been unshackled, boys. The cast is mine. I am oh. in control now. Maybe I can just, <laughs> just mute you entirely from just my mute, OBS. Just, just, just mute me and have me rant to myself about how Star Trek is apparently anti-feminist or something. Products of their it's time. Not- well yeah but that but that's what makes it funny when you relate it to modern day though that's the thing it's funny (laughs) it's really funny because there's so much about it that in my opinion it got quite right actually (laughs) actually all right all right so there's a few minutes left i think yeah let's let's get this let's yeah we've got we've got a few minutes left let's get this finished and then we might have to skip anime talk today and we'll come we'll come back to uh We'll come back next week and do a longer anime chat. How about that? We'll do something yeah. like that. Um, so yeah, come to that interpretation, rather than spelling it out, someone also mentioned that the show is meant to be a parody of magical girl shows, which are full nah. of almost... Be- nah, I don't think it's meant to be. I haven't seen any indication that it's meant to be a parody. I parody. mean, you could argue... You could. Ar- it's one of those things where it's like, you could argue anything as a fucking parody if you squint hard enough. <laughs> Parody you know, has this specific definition, and match- yeah, it is just a yeah. magical girl show with this twist, right? It's not, s- yeah. And I haven't, I, I haven't seen any indication from like the author or anything um, to indicate to me that she. I think it's a she. I think the author is a woman. Um, I haven't seen any indication that they um, set out to make a parody. I, 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 I would have to see. So again, I don't like necessarily i mean you can kind of do it but at the same time it's better to have it backed by a source and if you as long as he recognized oh i don't really have a source but this is i mean he he hasn't you know he's just said oh i was told that it's a parody it feels i'm getting the vibes right you know i'm getting the vibes right at the same i I have more of an issue if it's like this is definite it is definitely a parody you know it's definitely a parody of you know the thing but i don't i guess he hasn't actually said that yet so let's see what he's media some like encounters i can see that more in the manga maybe but the anime made the encounters between the heroes and the villains way too sexual where i don't even this man did not read very far into the <laughs> only the chapters that were already co- uh, animated i think mm. feels like it yeah because because i think a, a good way to put it 
is like the anime has ramped up the lewdness to about where it's at in like the later chapters of the manga mm. right because it i think that the manga has a bit more of a slower ramp up in the lewd right i think it's um, it, it feels unfounded feeling unfounded vibes that yeah is, it kind yeah. of like was the editor or the the mangaka pushing each other or uh, the publisher until it, it it could be it could be but i would again would have to look into that i could i can I, I could see that but like looking at the facts the chips as they are on the table right uh, the fact is that the manga does have a slower ramp it's still there but it's a slower ramp up there's also the fact that the anime is doing things out of order somewhat like for instance the introduction to kiwi happens after the 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 part with the the girl getting um stripped of the scissors so mm -hmm. so they're they're moving things around and i think they're doing that kind of just to make the pacing a bit better because they only have 12 i think 13 episodes i think it is 12 or 13 so i think they're just kind of moving things around to kind of introducing a character a little bit earlier yeah. for more character yeah. screen time etc yeah so so it's not a one-to-one -one, like I, and, and i mean it doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one adaptation i think it's been a fateful adaptation because it's showing basically everything that happened in the manga it's just i think it's ramped up the lewdness to the point it is later on but it had but it's it's doing it a lot quicker and it's sort of probably being done as a directorial decision to improve the pace of the overall show right i think that's probably what it is mm. um which you could have an interesting discussion about that because you know if, if what if they had 50 episodes instead of 12 would the would they have made it a slower ramp up in that case or would they have kept the same you know ramp up right that would that would be an interesting discussion to have but i guess we kind of we, we probably don't know going. Yeah, we don't know. See the humor nor the parody. Again, it just seems like it's not. It's not meant to be. A, that's maybe it's because it's not meant to be a fucking parody. You know? Or you're very humorous <laughs> in that way. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It just seems like they want to show middle schoolers doing very questionable things. If you okay, hang on. I want to. I want to. Because if he says. I'm, I'm going to do a JoJo, right? I'm going to go. The next thing you're going to say is. Um, I if you're into that, then I don't have a problem with that. But right, let's see if I'm right. sexual. Where I don't even see the humor nor the parody. Again, it just seems like they want to show middle schoolers doing very questionable things. If you like that, this anime is for you. But for me, if you like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was half right, I guess. You know, if you like that, this anime is for you. But for me, it's it's gross, icky, icky, sexy, sex. Ooh no, ooh ooh ooh, ooh so gross, ooh ooh. Um, it's a multimedia franchise. So yeah, it is actually a multimedia franchise now. That's got an ASMR. Um, oh yes, I'm I'm Ali's hallucination. That's right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Always remember. Chat, yeah. All right. Anyways, it was a wasted opportunity. On the topic of parody, I personally think that the best uses of edgy themes is when it's done for comedic purposes to enhance the absurdity of the situation. Kanasuba is probably my. Yeah, it can only be done in comedy, Ali. Only no in comedy. You're not, not allowed. You're not allowed. You, yeah, yeah. You cannot take itchy seriously. It has to be comedic. You, do it correctly, damn it. Why are you not doing it correctly? It has to be done the right way. Uh, uh, Ellie, why didn't they do it the right way? Uh. You can tell I start to get more mocky when I when <laughs> when I'm getting more angry. I'm starting to be a bit more of an asshole. <laughs> this is some classic Naruto right here coming out because I, I look, dude, dude, I've been trying to calm down. You know, I don't want to be angry all the time. You know, I want to want to be want to be a calm Kiwi. You know, I want to be chill. But no, it's just <laughs> like this, man. I'm just like, nah. We gotta let we gotta let let loose. Let's go. My favorite example of that. Edgy stuff does happen often, but it never feels cheap or exploitative. I mean, yes, it does appear cheap and exploitative, but it never feels. But my favorite show <laughs> is good. Yeah, when well, yeah, well, my favorite show, it's okay when my show does it. Your show is too direct, but my show doing it directly is okay because it's for haha -ha, irony, funny lols. Haha, -ha, I'm so cool. Guys, listen, listen, listen. He recommended guys, this show to guys. his friends. 
listen, guys, guys in the Christian book club, you have to understand, right? It's it's funny. It's meant to be. You're meant to laugh at it. It's okay. It's okay. It's not being serious. You can you can. It's okay to like it if it's not serious, right? Right? Ha ha ha! I'm so ironic. Ha ha! Irony, irony, poison alert. The cynicism behind it. You can tell that it's there for a laugh, not titillation. Just watch the intro and pit. Oh yeah, totally there for uh, a laugh. Only... Not yeah, yeah. Attention to the amount of booba jiggle and suggestive camera angles. It's so absurdly overt that you can't help but see it as a gag. It's something that's hard to explain. <laughs> it's, 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 okay, it's, it's literally fine when it's overt now because it's comedic. Literally, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Never allowed to do anything else with sexual content. Never. Oh. Never allowed to take it seriously. Obscured Ever. and ridiculed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And really, because you can probably show me examples of other shows doing the same thing, but I feel like Konosuba has just the right balance. It also helps that etchy elements are actually used for character development and actually has narrative consequences. Something that. Yeah, and, you're, and that doesn't happen in Gushing for Magical Girls? God, I wish I could talk about what happens later in that fucking show, because oh, that series, because there's there is a like, there actually is a part. And I'm not going to spoil it, but and it's probably not going to get to that in the anime because it's really far along, uh. right? There is something that happens that has had far-reaching consequences to one of the characters later on to do with the, the the sexual element. There is a there is a narrative thing that has happened right and it's so annoying that i don't want to spoil it right but it's because it if i talked about it it would ruin this argument for him because look gushing over magical girls literally has what he's talking about it literally has the itchy being used as a narrative element so i'm like okay other etchy shows lack. If I had to make a comparison gushing over magical girls is as funny as a visit to epstein island while Fuck off, fuck off. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, no, Noretsu, you can't leave. You're the one with the per per pressing the play button. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I'm, this I'm was done. here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm getting a drink. I'm getting a drink. <laughs> oh, no. That woke me up again so a little bit. Uh. <laughs> if I say the things that I want to say right now, we are getting fucking banned off YouTube. I am, I am fuck that. This guy went from mildly annoying to actually despicable. Um, actual piece of, actual piece of shit human being. If it wasn't so late, I would have remembered that, that this part was coming. <laughs> Actual piece of shit. Anyone that, like, tries to downplay the shit with, with Epstein and whatnot and use it as ha-ha funny ironic maymays about um, sexual content and literally anything, right? Actual disgusting human beings, and I, and I, and I wish bad things happened to, 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 to them. Actual evil, evil shit. Evil shit. Antis have one joke. Yeah, it's one. They have one joke. That's that's it. You know, and that's it. That sealed the deal for this guy with me. That's it. He's he's irredeemable after this point. There is no justification for this, right? There is no justification for pulling a pulling an Epstein joke other than you are an actual piece of shit human being. That's that's pretty pretty much it. So let's let's try and finish the video um, so we can we can never fucking cover this guy again because fuck <laughs> him right like actually fuck him actual evil piece of shit. While Konosuba is more like watching CCTV footage of a very slippery changing room and giggling at people in little to no clothes falling over. It's not that. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's not even fucking. Uh, I can't. I fucking can't. I'm so. The high brow so humor. I can still so see the amusement in it and Kono yeah, so allegorical. He's being such a, such an allegory right now, man. So so allegorical. Super managed to take full advantage of that absurdity. One of my favorite running gags is when the show establishes very early that Aqua doesn't wear any underwear. It doesn't really have any dark consequences or some kind of through line, 
But once you know that information, it stays in the back of your mind, and you're going to start taking notice of specific camera shots. The sh yeah, it's okay when I. It's okay. Yeah. To, to, it's okay to perv on the girl who doesn't wear underwear because you know, it's 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 ha ha funny. It's ha ha funny. Ha ha ha! Ah, it's so funny, Ellie. Show takes, but they never show anything. Obviously, it's like Chekhov's gun, but in this case, yeah, I guess it's Chekhov's bum. I don't think I've ever seen a show where they establish something so non-consequential and yet it affects how you watch the rest of it. Konosuba clearly knows what it is and turns its lewdness into a joke to critique the over-sexualization. So is, it is, it is it critiquing the over-sexualization? So show is so that what much it's doing? of her ass as possible without we have to show, showing we the have bottom to show the titties. end. Yeah, don't we have to show, show where the cheeks end on the top. Don't it's okay, Ellie, because I've twisted it into being a criticism of the thing that I supposedly don't like, because I have to act like I don't like it for my Christian book club, right? Look, it's critical of it, guys. It's totally, that's why it's, it's so funny, ha ha, ha ha, cynical. Absurd. Yeah, it's because it it's, critis it's criticizing it, Ellie. So that means it's okay. It's okay for me to enjoy it. Ah. Oh. What a fucking piece of shit. Rather than endorses it, whereas gushing over magical girls fully embraces its degeneracy and offers very little subtext. It will come down to your preference. <laughs> yeah, no subtext. There's no subtext going on whatsoever. Mr. I'm, I am the big intellectual man. The big intellectual big man. I'm so fucking big brain, right? I'm watching the fucking the itchy animes, and I have I can determine all of the the zero subtexts and zero allegories because I'm I'm good good big From theory synopsis, man. From synopsis, even I can read the synopsis and come up with fifty million fucking um goddamn fucking possible ways the show could come out because I'm I'm big brain man, big brain Christian man. What a fucktard. Fucking hell. Down to your preference and what you're looking for though. I think Etchy as an art form does have a place in media and can offer a wide variety of entertainment. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that for a fucking second. You don't view this shit as art. Fuck off. Now fuck off. An insight. It may be an art form that I'm not exactly too familiar with or like all that much, but I can see there's some storytelling potential that other genres are not willing to explore. However, I'm is in the genre, but whatever. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Six five is right. Potentious fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I can I might not enjoy it, but I can see the the narrative value in having have the big anime titties, Ellie. Oh, oh I'm gonna smell my own farts. Mm. Yeah, I've given up on being nice. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm fully embracing. I'm fully embracing the dark side now. I'm fuck good faith. You don't get you don't get fucking good faith after that. You can you can fuck. Off. Still concerned about Echi's prominence in anime and how it affects the perception that anime has in the mainstream media. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, we we have to worry about the perception, Ellie. It's all about the perception. <laughs> what will my Christian book club think of me? What will they think? What will they think, Ellie? If they knew that I watched the anime. Oh, it's so bad. It's so good. Oh, he made no. his video that will that will make him right with the anime club. Yeah, the, yeah. With the Bible I'll, club. I'll, I'll be allowed. I'll be allowed in the cool the cool Christian club, right? I'll be allowed in 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 the cool the cool Christian club, the CCC. If I if I if I if I prostrate myself and be like, no, guys, listen, the show I like, it's totally a deconstruction critique of the boobies. With the decline of Hollywood and increased popularity of anime, it would be nice that the first impressions people have of anime is not Echi. My biggest concern that- Now fuck that. <laughs> let, let it be the first impression. Echi's good. Fuck you. There you go. There you fucking go. But Echi, much like Isekai, are falling into the same trap that the superhero genre did in the West, which is oversaturation. The anime- Really? Yeah. Really? Really? The, the what? How many Echis are coming out this season? Like, there's two main good ones, right? How many? Uh, yeah, how many isekai? We've had that conversation how many times, Ellie? About oh, oh, it's so it's so oversaturated. There's so many isekais coming out, and so many. It's like no, where are they? Where the fuck are they? <laughs> what do you mean? What like, the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I mean, where are they, Ellie? There is one. Two, uh, I believe there is. 
at the minimum there are five, I believe. Four if... out of forty-five, according to Yin. All right. Four out of forty-five. <laughs> Oh, it's so oversaturated. Yeah, my lack of my lack of faith. Yeah, itchy, disturbing. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. The anime world is full of generic, low-effort, etchy anime that only rely on fan service and titillation to gain sales. And because people are buying them, they keep making them, putting less. Yeah, but why are people buying them though? If they're so bad, why are people buying them? Right? Wait, what, 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 could, could it be that maybe there's something else going on outside of the sex appeal? Could it be possibly that people genuinely enjoy these shows? Could it be that possibly there is actually some fucking substance there that you just can't pick up on, Mr. Big Brain Intellectual? Huh? You know what? Yeah? Muramase maybe? with the, the show. I'm going to argue. I'm going to argue with the man who can't fucking hear me, you know? <laughs> fucking. It's this yeah. show with the animal girls isn't an edgy, though. Also, effort into the writing or crafting a better story. For oh no, but her titty, her titty is hanging off the branch, Ellie. Oh no, her titty's it's hanging like off the branch. Almost gravity exists, and it kind of so happens. It's almost like gravity. It's almost like it's almost like boobs fucking move. You know, <laughs> almost like boobs are sacks of fat that have mass to them. Yeah. yeah. Every Freeran or spy family, you'll have to deal with ten no game, no life, or. There's yeah, no, ten no game, no life's happened. Only to every one season. The forever yeah. one season show is the there ten of yeah, them. Yeah, the, the the forever one season show. There's totally like ten game, ga no game, no life, Sally. Totally. Kiss sis, and honestly, I don't like. Oh, he knows about kiss sis. Yeah, look at him. Some, look at the. Look at him. He's footage. cultured. He yeah. showed footage of it. Well, he's actually look, man. He totally hates the itchy. He totally thinks that oh, it's so bad that it's so direct. But he'll fucking sit there and watch Kissy. Hey. A <laughs> hey, fellow cool Christian club uh, member. Yeah. What is uh, you mentioned? Is exists. What kind of show is that, my good fellow? Yeah. Christian? What's that about? What's what's that about, mate? What's that about, huh? What's those that? numbers. However, I do see the counterpoint in favor of Edgy too. In the previous version of this video, Aleandro. Hey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's getting. <laughs> in the previous version, where I got absolutely fucking cooked, right? And now that I've seen that fucking Epstein joke, now I know why he got so many fucking dislikes. Now I know why that joke alone is probably why he got cooked. Honestly, because I'll be real, the the rest of this. While it's been really fucking annoying and it's gotten me heated, especially when he's talking about gushing over magical girls, nothing fucking compares to that. Like, that is a fucking absolute trigger point, which tells you a lot about this person and where their actual fucking morals lie, right? Tells you a lot. Also, this, so, this guy, I, I've been reading this comment, right? Basically, right. Basically, uh, I will summarize it in that... Etchy watchers are just, are weirdos that watch every every etchy show for any reason. Oh, yeah. If it longs etchy, so it's for for people. It's a balance between can we get away with fifty percent etchy so the normal people will keep watching, but we get the etchy people. Uh, I do not think gushing over magical girls gives a shit about appealing to normal people. So, but basically, <laughs> he, he, this guy claims that it's always a battle between the normal people and the degenerates that always yeah, want yeah. full on porn. Those, those, those evil degenerates, yeah. Yeah, those evil, evil degenerates, right? Yeah, fuck. This guy is like hiding his power level. I think he is full Tradcalf at this point. Like actual evil piece of shit Tradcalf. And he because, come... like, I'm sorry, he's, he's fucking, he's sitting here trying to tell me that Spider-Man is an allegory for ED and fucking, you know, gushing over magical girls is fucking, you know, Epstein shit, you know? Like, <laughs> maybe he should try asking itchy fans what they like. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe he should actually talk with people that like it and actually listen to their arguments as to why they like it, you know? And maybe actually stop, be, like, maybe actually be the intellectual that he claims to be, right? Or he pretends to be, right? Like, for real. 
but any anyhow, let's let's see what he has to say about this 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 comment. Alejandro Lacobesu did mention a very interesting idea regarding this topic. He suggested that if we had a slider between zero to one hundred percent etchy, you will get a good return if you go twenty percent or even fifty percent because you will satisfy etchy enjoyers. If you have no etchy whatsoever and do the same slider with zero being a bad story and hundred being a great story, story enjoyers won't be satisfied with anything under fifty percent. So in this case, your chances of being published are even slimmer, because now you're competing with better written stories and etchy manga. It's an interesting, unbelievable... <laughs> it's a complete made-up thing. It's completely made-up bullshit that's not factual at all. I don't think there's, like, this fucking, like, market of... Like, people that are into etchy stuff are gonna gravitate toward etchy stuff, but that doesn't mean that we're not like reading stuff that's not itchy or watching stuff that's not itchy. No, you're like, weird. I'm watching. For, no, it's, I'm a no, weirdo. Yeah, I yeah, can't watch. I can't watch Fear in because there's not enough fan service in it, Elliot. You impossible. are the very I, definition of the literal hentai. Yeah, yeah. Bringing exactly. that back, few hours ago. I mean, I am, but even I'm sitting here saying, "Look, I, I can watch a show that doesn't have that in it." You know. So what is what the fuck does was he on about? <laughs> what is he on about? Oh god, but anyway, it's theory, which could explain a lot. The worst thing that anime can be is boring. So if it at least has some fan service, it's better than nothing, I suppose. It would explain why some of the more interesting story concepts usually have etchy elements in them. And if getting some interesting concepts means I have to deal with some random big breasted character popping in just to titillate the audience and enforce some generic anime tropes, I guess I'll have to cope with it. Ma'am, oh. we located the droid signal. Apparently, it's just making YouTube videos about anime. Is it really worth the risk of being discovered by humans? Don't be fooled by its trickery. What the fuck is going on now? This is, this is his OC lore. Oh, his OC lore, eh? His cringe OC lore, right? He, look, he's got the big titty woman. Like, what is this? It's is this fucking fan service? This is, this is a he's critique. Got this is the, the critique. Oh, it's a know. critique, right. Oh, it's a parody. Yeah. These droids yeah, 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 yeah. are highly adaptable. It took on an innocent and harmless persona to disguise its true destructive nature. But if you let it fester, it will grow in influence and power. And eventually, the only thing left out of that planet is rubble and remnants of a civilization. <laughs> he loves his AI, too, I'm noticing. Yeah. He's quite, he's, quite, he's quite a big fan of his AI. <laughs> Can a single reconnaissance droid even do that? It doesn't matter. I'm not giving it the chance. <laughs> um, I this man who's using the fucking AI waifus with big titties and his OC lore is gonna sit here and fucking tell me that looking up to magical girls is Epstein. If it's Fuck IKEA off. chair PGM. Is is yes, yeah, IKEA <laughs> chair PGM bullshit. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. What a fucking cunt. Legitimately, what a fucking cunt. Alright, are we done now? Come on. Oh yeah, CGI, fucking AI, goddamn shit. As I said, if you're new to anime, I recommend you avoid this tag until at least you familiarize yourself with the wholesome options, and then you can start to delve into the degeneracy of the anime world and become a true cultured weeb. If you would like some anime recommendations, you can find my anime list in the oh, description yeah. below. Yay. This oh, one yeah. was actually a revised video of the one I posted earlier last oh. week, but after receiving some constructive feedback, I thought I'll elaborate more on my points and try to come off as less aggressive than I did in the first time around. <laughs> you did a poor fucking job. <laughs> You did a really poor fucking job. Seriously, go fuck yourself. I appreciate you subscribing and sticking around as I continue to make- I will not be subscribing <laughs> and I will not be sticking around. Make better content for you. If you want to chat and discuss other topics, why not join me on my Discord? <laughs> no, I would rather <laughs> not get groomed by you on your fucking Discord. I hope to see you there. Yeah, I if you're fucking, into oh. fucking bet you do, you <laughs> fuck, yeah, I, accidentally, I accidentally hit the button because I wanted to pause it. You yeah, fuck off. No, actually fuck off. Like, I was, like, 
playing nice at the beginning. I was like, okay, let's let's see what he has to say. Let's you know, let's see what happens, right? You know, you know. And he made some pretty silly points, and we had a good some good discussion, and we had some fun times, right? We we had a good yeah, you know, we had a good time, Ellie, didn't we? We had a good time, yeah. right? It was good, it was good, it was good. And then he starts talking about gushing over magical girls, and I'm getting a bit triggered, right? I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little triggered. I'll be real, I'm getting tilted, I'm getting a little tilted. I'm getting a little tilted little you know i'm just a little tilted right you know because he's making some really bad arguments you know i'm getting and then he drops the fucking epstein bomb on me and i'm like no that's it that's it i'm not being nice anymore <laughs> you know you don't deserve it you don't fucking deserve it when you fucking do that shit and the reason that that's such a fucking pain in the ass is because it's become like people have taken right which which should be a horrific fucking thing right the the elites and their fucking PDF file ring, right? Fucking ob- human trafficking actual fucking people and putting them through, like, literal hell, right? That should be considered fucking a horrific thing. But it's become this... Yeah, I am very triggered. Um, <laughs> it's become this fucking meme. It's just become a fucking joke. It's completely downplayed the horrificness of it. Right, because people have decided that in order to own their in their fucking opponents online, right? Oh, oh, I could just call them all fucking Epstein lovers or whatever, or Epstein supporters. You know, I, I mean, I'm too much of a fucking pussy to just call them a pedophile, right? I'm too much of a fucking coward to do that. So I can just hide behind Epstein, right? I could just fucking call people, you know, a pedophile by by memeing about Epstein. Yeah, you know, you know. And and I hate it. I think it's fucking gross and disgusting, and it downplays the horrificness of you know of what happened, you know, and all of that fucking shit. It's terrible, you know. And I don't want to be like a moralizer or anything about it, but it, it actually gets on my fucking nerves, you know, because I don't think people that watch gushing over magical girls are like into Epstein shit. I don't fucking think that at all, you know. I think it's fucking wrong to fucking equate these things that are just like not fucking equatable at all and a fucking like it's it's fucking horrific it's it's fucking terrible i hate it i hate it so that that's basically soured my opinion on this guy practically forever i think he's a fucking piece of shit like i'm sorry that's that's just the end of it that's my final thought like just fuck him (laughs) Uh, yeah. so yeah. What, what's your what's what's your tired final thought? My what's tired your... <laughs> final thought is that the I don't believe that this what I from what I remember right because I it is I it is possible to get the original video back by just cutting the thing that is were added, was added later. Uh, but it's I only watched it once, so I don't know exactly the parts that are added later and which parts are original. But it's not really any significantly different. I don't feel that he is... I don't really feel that there is still a a respect for Edgy. It's still something... Oh, no, no, he doesn't respect it at all. (laughs) It's still something to be pushed away to the sides, to be hidden, to be ignored, to be derived, to be as a last resort, as a something that you had to have to do by necessity reluctantly and against your will and against your better judgment and morals it is it is a great corrupting influence this, this absolute mother i'm reading comments right now this fucking cunt Someone in the comments is like, you know, itchy shows are integral to anime and manga culture. They keep the terrorists away, yada, yada, you know, typical mm. stuff, right? You know, I'm not going to, sum- I'm just going to summarize the whole thing. Um, and then he, at, at the end of it, he says, you know, P.S. Gushing over magical girls was known to be a cultured anime, and that's why people wanted to see it. So I don't know um, how it was, it wasn't on his radar. And he literally responded to that with, I'm a pure and innocent soul. I knew G-O-M-G would be sus, but I didn't expect it to be that sus. What a cunt. What a fucking cunt. Fuck you. (laughs) You piece of shit. You're going to fucking go on your video and you're going to fucking act... Like, oh, it's, 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 I, I had these, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know at all. I had no idea, Ellie. He had no idea. He did fucking know. He fucking knew. Fucking cunt. <laughs> what a piece of shit. 
Yeah. Also, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna, you, you can keep going. I'm just gonna keep reading. If I see anything interesting, I'll chime. Oh, I, I actually wanted to debut our new fancy uh, set. Yeah.